Cool, right. So I thought I am recording. I've just pressed record. I'm upside down, or you are? <laughs> I mean, there's no reason you couldn't, but you know, um, yeah, we're not going upside down, don't worry. Down dogs is about as upside down as we're going to go today. So just just tuck your just tuck your t-shirt between your legs. That'll be all right. Um, Right, so um, yeah, we're going to basically go through a bit of a jet, uh, basic vinyasa type flow, uh, going through the stories of the of the um, of the warriors essentially. So um, yeah, we're just going to basically flow through a whole bunch of warriors. Not nothing. We're not going to hold anything for too long. We're not going to try and force anything, but we're just going to constantly move around and basically try to wake up through a gentle a gentle flow uh, and as I say just just basing it around the warriors so warrior one warrior two warrior three with a little bit of scum dust I've thrown in for fun I've just been doing it as a self practice and I thought that'll be nice we'll do that uh, I think we'll just wait for Zoe's com uh, audio to make sure it's working or hopefully she can see morning Zoe and then I've said morning and then I'm gonna shut you all up anyway so you can't talk to me. Unless anyone's got anything to tell me. Anything for me? Anyone wanna say, you know, anything great about me? Brilliant, no, sweet. Shut you all up, then you're gone. Can't say anything now. Right, so let's do it, shall we? Let's find ourselves onto our, our mats. Uh, I sweep back there, just make sure you can still hear me. Everyone, Joe, can you use a thumbs up because I can see you, can you hear me all right? Cool. So, find yourself sitting comfortably. Good morning. Allow the spine to grow tall. Allow crown of the head just to lift up towards the sky. Feeling that breath on the back of your nose. And just begin to feel each inhale and each exhale. Release your jaw a little bit. It's counting in for a count of four, counting out for a count of six. As always, that's just a marker. You can go longer or shorter. Just trying to find some kind of exhale dominant breath. Taking another 10 of these breaths, breathing in for that four, and out for that six. And try to find an awareness of, as always, where and how your breath is moving. Try to just sit with that breath and observe the state of your mind, of your nervous system as that breath draws in flows out. How have you woken up today? What side of the bed did you wake up on? Try not 
have to worry about what side that was, just be aware of it. Just be aware of the feelings that you feel right now, the tensions. Feel that inhale. As you flare your nostrils that little bit wider. Feel that exhale. Notice how the exhale almost feels invisible compared to the inhale. Just two more breaths. Choosing whether or not to open with an arm yourself. I'm just going to open with a round arm, but you can, of course, just sit and take an extra breath, drawing the breath in. Draw the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, take a side bend to the right. Inhale, come back up. Take a side bend to the left. Inhale, come back up. Interlink the hands. Bring them down out in front of you and just round your spine. And then again, take a bit of a side bend towards the right, still pushing those hands away. And then come back through and side bend to the left, still pushing those hands away. Come back through, draw the arms up. And exhale, draw them down through cactus arms. Holding them there, take one breath in. And exhale, twist to the right. Keep your head facing the front. Inhale, come back through. Exhale, twist to the left. Head still faces the front. One more time. Twist to the right. And this time side bend to the right as well. Come back up to the center. Exhale to the left. Take one breath. And then side bend left as well. Come back to center. Draw the arms up. One more time. Pull them down through those cactus arms. And again, finding the hands of breath. From there, we're going to try to uncross our legs without our hands, roll down towards our backs, gently draw the arms over the head and the legs up to the sky. Fingertips reach towards your toes, taking just a moment there. Reach your right foot down towards the floor. Reach it back up, this is all the core we're going to do, I promise. Left foot comes down. Back up, bend your knees, give them a big squeeze. And then we're going to make our way after one or two little rocks up to a standing position. So, however, you want to get to your standing position, find yourself there. Bounce everything around, let everything feel loose and relaxed. Slowly we'll draw the arms up towards the sky. 
same thing that we did when we were sitting down. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, back up. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, draw the arms down through cactus arms. Inhale, twist to the right, keeping head facing forward, pelvis facing forward. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, back through center. Inhale, the arms up. Look towards your thumbs, try and tuck your bum under you. And then exhale, folding down towards the floor. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Soft knees again as always. Hands rise to shins, to thighs, to knees, flat back. Try and think about length through the lower back. Then exhale, hands down to the floor. Step back to your plank. So we'll just start with a plain old vinyasa. You can do this on your knees as always if you need. And then so you're going to come down through your push-up. Push back to the top. Come back into your down dog and drop to your knees. Slowly draw yourself through onto knees, chest and chin. Let everything surrender down. Lift your rib cage off the floor. Pelvis is still nice and flat down. Length through the, uh, through the abdomen there. Slowly roll back down towards the floor. Hands under shoulders. Push up through your high plank. Back towards down dog. You're going to walk your feet up towards the front of your mat, however you want to get them there, and rise up to your flat back again. Exhale, folding back down. Inhale, draw the arms back up towards the sky. Tuck your bum under you again. And then exhale, fold back down again over the legs. This time, imagine you're going to sit in that chair. Drop the bum, arms lift, rising to chair, Uttapasana. And then hands down to the floor. Step back to plank. One more time like we just did. Come down through the push-up. Come back to the top. Roll back to down dog. And drop to your knees. Sit back to child's pose. From there, roll yourself forward onto your knees, your chest and your chin slowly. Let everything surrender to the floor. Hands creep forward a little bit. Pelvis is down. Shoulders rolling back. Give your ears some space. Try and lengthen through the abdomen. So pull back on the hands. And then slowly roll back down. Hands under your shoulders. Tuck your toes. Lift up to high plank. Roll yourself back. So we'll start our journey into our warriors. Again, however you want to get there, wander those feet forward up to the front, rising to a flat back. Exhale, fold down over your legs. And then inhale, slowly draw the arms back up towards the sky. Hands come down to heart centre, keep the eyes closed just for a moment. And so we start our slightly extended vinyasas. Inhale, draw the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sit down in towards that chair. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to your flat back. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back in towards your plank. Hold plank for a second. Come down through a push-up. Push back to the top. Child's pose. Let's lift up into down dog again. So again, think about having the knees soft for a long spine. 
lift that right leg up towards the sky, pull that right foot through and step it between your hands. Step your left foot just marginally wider so you, you're more on train tracks than uh, tight ropes. And then inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky. So warrior one variation. So again, think about first big toe knuckle on the left foot, fifth little toe knuckle on the left foot. Try to straighten your back knee, move your hips forward in space. Imagine you've got two big swords in your hand, you're sinking your hips down. Breathe here for five, four, three, two. Keep sinking forward and down, one. Rotate yourself, come into warrior two. Look towards your middle finger on your right hand. Try to feel the outside blade of your left foot down on the floor. Sink the hip down. Imagine you're going to rest your tea, your chai on your right thigh. Four, three, two, one. Sweep the left hand to the front of the mat. Both hands face forward. From here, you're going to either move your hands back as momentum or you're just going to try to reach yourself forward and you're going to hold that warrior three pose. If you need to, the hands can come back behind you. They can come at heart centre. But try to put your hands maybe on your pelvis for a minute. Does your left hip feel higher than your right? Can you drop that down so they're more level? And then pull that left knee in towards your chest, arms sweep up, hands come down to chest, foot down to the floor. So we'll repeat that again, inhale, the arms lift up, exhale, sink down towards your chair. Again in chair, think about feet pushing into the floor and try to push wide to wake up the whole of the outer legs. Exhale, fold forward, down over the legs. Knees are nice and soft. Inhale, flat back and look forward. Exhale, hands go down to the floor. We step back with the left foot. Step back with the right foot. Exhale, come down through your push-up. Push back to the top. Drop to your knees. Fold down into child pose. Inhale, roll through knees, chest and chin. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra. So you can stay on the pelvis if that worked for you last time, or you can lift up. Then we're gonna roll back into downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up to the sky, three-legged dog, pull that left foot in, step it through between your hands, and again, set your right foot so perhaps it's marginally wider than it was in that down dog. Inhale, draw the arms up. So again, find the first bit toe knuckle, the fifth toe knuckle on the floor, try and straighten through that knee, try and open this right hip, bring the weight forward, arms over the head, Imagining there's two big swords in our hand again, sinking forward and down. For three, two, and one. Open that back foot up. Sink your hips forward and down. So again, try not try and think about getting into the front hip, not just dropping the back knee, back leg. Try and keep the back leg straight, everything traveling forward. Again, look at that middle finger, and again, those two swords we had are now out, one in front, one behind. Right hand comes over the top, we turn back towards the front of the mat, front legs, takes all of the weight, we lift our way up into warrior three. So swords are out in front, or perhaps back behind us or hands at heart centre if that would work. But again, pay attention to your pelvis. Have you 
jacked it up like this. Oop. Or can you drop that pelvis down? Three, two, one. Pull that right foot in. Arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands come down to the floor. Hands at heart centre. Keep the eyes closed for just a moment. And then again we repeat, draw the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold back down over your legs, all the way down towards the floor. Sink your bum down, chair pose. Lift the arms up. This time we'll just take a little twist, bring the right elbow across your left knee. Opening that spine up to the left. Pulling your right hip back in space. And then again, inhale, draw the arms up over the head. And then cross the left elbow over the right knee your option this time to go back. If you want to try a little jump, you can. Draw the arms up. Exhale, hands down to the floor. So we're going to hop, step, float, fly back towards your plank. Push the hands into the floor, lifting up. Hover, and back we go. Push up towards your high plank, and back towards down dog. Drop towards your knees and surrender the chest down towards your thighs. Inhale, roll through knees, chest and chin. Creep those fingertips forward if you wanted. So you've got your cobra or push into those hands for your upward facing dog. But again, remember, give your ears some space. Push the hands actively into the floor and then roll the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts up towards the sky. Pull that right knee in. Step the right foot between the hands. Sweep your arms up over the head. And again, same thing. Sink the hips forward and down. So giving length to that left groin, thigh. Try and find first and fifth on the floor. Try and feel like your left leg, your back leg, rotating outwards, those arms are over the head, three, two, and one, rotate towards the left side of your mat, warrior two, again, sink your hips down, forward and down, forward and down, keep, try not to go forward with your chest, try to go forward with everything, so the head and heart stays over here. Now we're going to reach the right hand up to the sky, slide the left hand down your back leg. If you wanted to, right hand or right rib can be held in left hand. As you lengthen through that right rib cage, you more breathing into your right rib. And then right forearm down to your right thigh, left arm over your head. For an additional challenge. You could take your right hand and reach it over your head as well, so that we're reaching both hands forward. Then reach the fingertips down to the floor and rotate yourself back to face the front of the mat. Push into those fingers, into that, those toes, lift up to warrior three. Reach those arms forward. If that's challenging, reach them back. Hips are square. Tuck your tailbone. Lift your ribs. Three two, one, pull that left foot back in, arms go over the head, find that standing up, balance, and release that left foot, hands come down. Again, we reach the arms over the head, and then exhale, folding forward, down over your legs, down towards the floor. Inhale, flat back. Hop, step, float, fly your way back in towards your plank pose. Come down through Chaturanga and then push back to the top. Roll back to down dog and drop to your knees. 
Roll your chest through, knees, chest and chin. And then inhale upward, facing dog or low cobra. Roll your way back into downward facing dog. Left leg is going to lift up. Then we step that left foot through between the hands. So plenty going on, but nice and slow with it. Inhale, draw the arms up. So again, first big toe, second, third, fourth, fifth, little toe. Reaching those arms for upwards, the hips forward and down. Keep trying to straighten this back knee. I bet it's not actually straight. And then from there. We open ourselves up into warrior two, sinking those hips forward and down. So again, try and aim for somewhat of a flat thigh. So you can almost put your hand on your back hip, trying to gently guide your way forward, but don't let your back knee bend. Don't let it drop in. Roll it outwards. Three, two, one. Left hand reaches up, right hand onto your right thigh, shin, ankle, knee, whatever. Maybe your right hand grabs your left wrist and you open that chest even more. And again, you can still try to sink this forward and down as you pull this up and back. And then left arm to left thigh, right arm over your head. Again, stay here or for the additional work in the legs, reach your left arm up and over as well. And then hands down to the floor. Spin yourself towards the front. Lift your way up into your warrior three. So arms back or arms forward. Holding for three. Pelvis square, two. Lift that foot, one. Pull your chest up, your knee up. Holding, release. One more time through all of that with one additional pose, and then we will relax. Inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, folding down over your legs. Inhale, rise to a flat back. And then exhale, step or flow, or just meander back to your plank. Once you're there, come down through your push-up, push back to the top. Drop to your knees, child's pose. Take a moment there. And then roll yourself through into knees, chest and chin. Inhale, up dog or down dog or uh, cobra, your choice and then roll your hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Left, sorry, right foot lifts towards the sky. Step that right foot through between your hands, stepping up into that warrior one. Lift those arms over the head, reaching the arms up. Holding there, try to Bend that weight into that front foot. Morning, Lou. Just seeing you there. And then keep breathing there. And then open up into warrior two. Open that left foot wide. Look at your middle finger on that front hand. Bend into that right knee. Left knee, the front knee. Right knee, there we go. That's the one. Perfect. Look at that middle finger. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And then the front arm lifts up towards the sky, takes it back behind you. Again, if you wanna grab hold of that wrist, do so. But if you're doing so, feel as if you're pulling it up to the sky and back, not just backwards. Feel as if you keep bending Barbara into your front knee a bit more, put a bit more weight for it, there we go. Then you can really get that tension through that front of the body. And then the right arm comes onto your right thigh left arm over your head good emma see if you can open your chest towards the sky a bit more that's it yes 
Nice, Gillian. Perfect. Good, good, good. If you want the additional challenge, you take the bottom hand, your right hand, and you lift it by your right ear, and you just try to reach yourself forward, and then you try and keep twisting that chest open, Emma. And you hold that. Good, Joe. Go on, twist it open a bit more, Joe. That's, yes. And you, Mandy. Turn your left shoulder back towards the camera a bit more. There. And then this time, you're going to sink yourself down. Which legs forward? fingertips to the floor and you're just going to lift your left toes off and you're going to sit down into this kind of position. If you want to, you could sit all the way down, but that might be somewhat of a challenge. Let me turn around so you can see perhaps. So it would be like this. But again, if that's too much of a challenge, then you're just going to stay higher and you're just going to move around a little bit in this skandhasana. And you can move and pick up and drop your foot exploring through there. This is your skandhasana. This is another, this is like a dancing warrior pose. Now as you rise back up towards that warrior two, plant that foot, reach the arms out wide, sweep the left hand forward, come back into that lunge, and lift up to warrior three. And fingertips down to the floor. Left foot down, forward fold. Inhale, roll yourself up. Just got to do that one more time on the other side. Reaching the arms up to the sky. Exhale, folding back down over your legs. Inhale, flat back. Look forward. Nice, and then exhale, hands to the floor, step yourself back towards your plank, hold up a plank. Good. Mandy, just try moving your hands back a little bit on the mat. That's it, that's it, and then push into your upper back. Push, 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 that's it. Now slowly come down through your push up, your chaturanga, and then you can push back to the top as well. And so we take that full little press up there. And then from there, drop to your knees, come back into knees, chest and chin. Rolling forward. Up dog or low cobra, it's your choice. Roll those shoulders back. And then roll back into downward facing dog. So now we get to your final side. Take a moment in your down dog and then lift that left leg. Stepping left foot through between your hands. Once you've got that left foot forward, set your right foot up. Inhale, draw the arms up towards the sky with the signed warrior one. So again, right leg is trying to pull back and open. Left foot is trying to bend forward and down. Arms reach up towards the sky. Lengthen the inhale, lengthen the exhale. Sink forward and down, sink forward and down, sink forward and down. Then open the chest, open the hips to the right long end of the mat, sink down. Remember, try and sink forward and down. Warrior two. Shoulders give your ears some space, reach the arms long. And then left arm reaches up towards the sky. Right hand on your back thigh. Now your choice, you could grab hold of your right hand or right hand onto your left wrist and again think this goes forward this goes back but this goes down this goes up and then left arm left arm to left thigh right arm over the head keep trying to open this chest wide so if you feel like you're here try and keep rolling that arm around and then lift your left arm up towards the sky as well if you've got it. Fingertips down to the floor, turn again to that long end of the mat, sink down to either skandhasana proper or, or skandhasana full I should say, or just play around here and straighten and bend your left leg, your front leg, feel that space get closed and opened and then your right inner groin getting lengthened and shortened depending on when you're bending when you're straightening
And then again from there as you come back through, we turn that right foot, we sweep up into warrior two again, we sink the hips, and reach the arms. Let's spin ourselves back towards the front, arms over the head briefly, reach the arms forward, tilt ourselves in towards our warrior three, holding three, two, sweep the arms up, and then dropping down. Take a moment just to balance everything out again. you want to get yourself down. We're going to sink down in towards the squat, down on towards our bums. Soles of the feet come together and then just bounce your knees out as you fold forward over your legs. Inhale, sit tall. Pull long through the spine, again exhale, fold down over your legs. Inhale, sit tall, lengthen your left leg, pull the right foot over the top of your left leg, right, left arm wraps around, right fingertips behind, take just a little twist. twist in the other direction. And then untwist. The right leg goes long, left foot comes over the top. Wrap your right arm around your left foot, left hand behind the back. Twisting towards the left. Again, if you want elbow around that leg, it might help get that click and crack. Twist, right hand behind your back, left hand into your left leg, and twist that way. Untwisting, uncross that leg, pull your knees in, roll down on towards your back, find your way down on towards the back for a moment. Just begin to gently rock and roll yourself forward and backwards. And then find those toes, those feet, find your happy baby. And then let those legs go long. Let your head relax. Let your shoulders relax. Let your feet and your thighs relax. Let everything come down to the floor. Lengthening every inhale and every exhale. Again, returning to that same place that you did at the beginning of the breath. Where we started with a little count to find an easy way to find some attention on it. And then let the count begin to dissolve and focus more on the sensations and awarenesses of it. Become more aware of the temperatures, the 
depths. How these things make you feel. Taking just another two breaths here. As you finish that second breath, allow just a little scan from the crown of the head down to the tips of your toes, observing for tensions, and just letting them all go. every moment you observe them. And as you finish this final little scan, allow your fingers and toes to begin to wriggle and shake, your wrists and your ankles to begin to come back to life. And then drawing the knees up in towards the belly, giving them a big hug and a big squeeze. And in your own time, rolling up to a comfortable seated position. Once you're there, sit tall through the spine, crown lifting, hands in prayer. So you just fold forward down over the legs, like us, Samasta Sukhina Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you all for joining me.